everyone! So today I have another tutorial for you and this is the next uh, princess in my Disney princess series. So I forgot what year she's from. Damn it. Alright, well anyway, if you haven't guessed, um, I am doing Aurora or Sleeping Beauty and I totally winged this look. I didn't even know what I was doing. I just grabbed like 20 different things and just threw this together and I actually really like it um, so this is what we got going on here lots of pinks and I added like ooh that liner is so wonky but that's okay um, I added like a darker color because I think that you had like a red cape Prince Philip and there's like green and blue because she was fighting with peanut blue dress and then they were in the forest and just pink and color and I love this look a lot and I'm shaking my camera and I'm sorry and yes yeah, so uh, I guess that's it and I think she's from 1954 I'm gonna say that it's probably wrong though so whatever uh, but I hope you're enjoying the series so far and uh, I guess that's it so if you like to know how to do it then simply keep on watching bye alright so to begin the look I'm going to take my NYX jumbo pencil and milk and just um Apply this onto the inner corner and the lid. So the first color that I'm going to be taking is going to be this color. This is an Inglot shade. I don't know which one it is. But it's this really gorgeous um, pink color. I'm just going to get this on the lid. Get this color. Or something similar to it. It's basically um, Urban Decay's Sin, but... Um, a lot more pinker, so hopefully that helps you guys. Um, so the next colors I'm going to take are going to be on a fluffy brush, and I'm going to mix together Junk Show and Tainted, our favorites. And finally, they come in handy for something. So I'm going to get this into the crease and all over, a little bit into the inner corner, just all over that eye. And then really blend it out take oops this color right here for my BH palette so then I'm going to just mix together two shades and this is I'm holding it upside down by the way this color and that color and they're actually just going to be kind of like the undertone base color for this and I'm just going to pop this right where I would apply my crease color and blend it up a little bit so for the crease color, even with some of this still left on the brush, um, the crease, yeah, outer V, I'm going to take Sketch, come on, focus, Sketch by MAC, and it's a burgundy color, because I think his cape was burgundy, I don't know, and just begin to lightly build this up, it's not going to be super intense, you really don't want it to be, I feel like I'm not working with the zoom well today, alright, um, so just very lightly bring it up. Don't go here. As you can see, I took it like there. And you don't want it to look like you've bruised yourself either. Because that's what using colors like this can tend to do. I'm going to take what's ever left on this brush with, that had... Um, oh, actually, I know I'm just going to mix Tainted and Junction together again. And very lightly just apply this on the outskirts of it. So it just blends a lot. A lot. And every time I do this on camera, I fail. I fail miserably every time I do this on camera. Um, so I'm going to fix up this with Foxy like I always have to do because it just gets really weird looking. I'm going to use Vanilla. Ooh, that right there. So I'm going to take a cream white colored eyeliner, apply that first, then I'm going to take the favorite shade of all of us, where are you, deep end, right there, my camera just kind of blew up the color really weirdly, but that's okay, actually shit, I wasn't supposed to take that first, just kidding, I lied, um, I'm going to take junk show first, and um, just apply this in a general area underneath the eye, it's kind of like the base, I guess you could say, and then I'm going to take Deepen and just apply that to the outer corner and just blend it towards the middle. And the 
after you apply like colors, these next two colors, you're just gonna want to blend them so they don't look really weird. Then I'm gonna take a forest green because she needs it in the forest. Gotta do it, young love. And just get this in the back part of the eye. Blend it downwards a little bit so it's just a little bit more smoky. And then, as you can see, I did kind of this weird line with sketch that's right below. I didn't make a wing with the liner, I just made it kind of thick going out. So I'm going to take a bit of sketch and just sort of, I don't know, define the line a little bit. It's kind of hard to explain, but it's basically what you're doing. So then I'm going to take the first color that I used, this one, the light pink color, and just apply that on the inner part of the eye. And then for an inner corner highlight, I'm going to be taking Vanilla for her hair because it's all blonde, you know. Oh, I almost forgot. I took the NYX Slide on Pencil and Jewel, and I lined my eyes with that. It's kind of a bit smudgy. Then I'm taking the Linear Intense Carbon Black Felt Tip Liner, and I'm just going to line my eyes. Right, that looks pretty decent. And as usual, just... oops, I dropped it. Just set it with a black eyeshadow. It's kind of the drill. And then all you have to do is curl your lashes and apply mascara. So I'm going to do that and I will be right back. All right, let's go on with the face. Woo! All right, so I'm going to just define my cheeks a little bit using a bit of bronzer like usual. Oh, then I'm just going to use um, Orgasm. Oops. Really utilizing that, uh, whatever it's called. Uh, blush. Then I'm going to take high beam. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Slightly dot this across my cheekbones. I guess down my nose too. And to top off the lips, I'm going to use Sweet Tart Lip Butter, which I love. So, keep with the whole pinky theme. And uh, yeah, so that completes the look. I hope you guys liked it. Um, I actually really love how this turned out, and I just totally winged this. I didn't even know what I was doing. Um, yeah, so I hope you liked it, and uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!